The average person burns about 2,000 calories per day. And for those of us who struggle with weight loss, which is most of us seeing that as a staggering 74% of all Americans are considered overweight. Yeah, we're large and in charge. Land of the free, baby. I'm sure you've all heard the saying, you can't outwork a bad diet, which essentially means no matter how many jumping jacks, stair climber, or BDSM you do, you will not be able to just eat whatever you want without suffering repercussions, AKA putting on some delicious body insulation. So to either prove or disprove this saying, I'm going to go consume the holy grail of the American diet. McDonald's and see just how difficult it really is to outtrain a bad but delicious meal. What can I get started for you? Could I just do a Big Mac meal with a medium fry and a medium Coke? Hi, 1104. You have the Big Mac meal, right? Yes. Okay. Do you by chance have four sons? Four sons? Four cents. Oh, I do not. Thank you. Okay, we got our McDonald's. Their Coke machine was broken, so um, I substituted my medium Coke for a, a large sweet tea with light ice. Sweet tea taste test, let's get it. It's like an orgasm in your mouth, and I know what that's like because I do CrossFit from time to time. Got the medium fry right here. Look at those golden crispy fries. Mm. Mm. You all know what they taste like. You can taste them through the screen. Pop open the honey mustard. Nice. This is probably going to be the only enjoyable part of this video for me. Mm. Those fries got demolished. Now on to the main events. The Big Mac. Here we go, guys. I haven't actually had a Big Mac in years, but it tastes exactly the same as I remember to a T. Absolutely delicious. Mm, Ronald's about to make me act up. As usual, I made a giant mess all over my hands, but I always have towels, so we're good. All that we have left here is a bunch of lettuce. No calories in that, so we're gonna call this meal finito. Let's do a quick recap on the meal. For a Big Mac, a medium fry, and a medium sweet tea, and I'm calling it a medium, because I didn't finish it. The total amount of calories comes out to a whopping 1,040 calories. Overall, very delicious meal. However, it did come at a very large calorie cost. And now we're gonna head to the gym and see if we can outwork this one meal. Let's go. We made it to the gym with only minor injuries and we are going to start this workout off with my go-to warm-up: a 10 minute incline walk on the treadmill. Today we're working back and biceps, so we're gonna start off with lat pull downs, which are great for the lats, the biceps, rear delts, rhomboids, and the traps. Build a big wide back. Personally, I like to load this machine in a pyramid fashion, meaning that my first set will be with a light weight and I will do many reps. And then as my sets continue, I will decrease the number of reps and increase the weight. In this case, I went from one plates, two plates, three plates, and then today I was feeling big, so we went for a PR with four plates. Get it, boy, get it. It was kind of difficult, but we got it up. And calories burned, baby. So you got the right position? Yeah, that's perfect. Is it? Hopefully, hopefully you'll see some muscles. I'm going to do it today, but I have up to 305. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang, that's impressive. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. No, she's strong. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. All right, have a good workout. These seated cable rows are a perfect way to cook your traps and rear delts. I'm definitely feeling the Big Mac sweats though. When doing this exercise, make sure to keep your core braced at all times to prevent injury. And finally, I switched my grip to a narrow grip to add in more lat engagement for my final two sets. <laughs> There's only three things in this world that make me cry. Marley and me, finishing too soon and working out. This is gonna be a quick trigger warning for any of you that don't like bugs. Less than two minutes ago, I just filled my water up at the water station and I took a first swig and I felt some kind of like fuzzy thing in my mouth. Well, I take it out with my fingers and it's an alive fly in my mouth. Um, yeah, needless to say, I'm a little traumatized right now, but perhaps trauma burns more calories, so. I can't stress this enough. On preacher curls, do not go heavy. One of the most common gym injuries is torn biceps, and it's from doing machines like this and overloading them. So be careful, guys. Your biceps will grow even with light weight. My arm 
systems are on low power mode now. Recently, I've started to add more and more pull-up variations to my back and bicep days. And this is frankly because I suck at pull-ups and this is a skill that I want to continue to grow. My biggest piece of advice for you guys when it comes to doing pull-ups is to not be afraid to use some sort of assistance, whether that be a band or to use an assisted machine like you see me doing here. Now, don't get me wrong, even though I can comfortably do lat pull-downs with over 350 pounds, that does not mean that I can do good form pull-ups. And using an assistance machine like you see me doing here is a perfect way to make sure I am engaging the right muscles and doing good form pull-ups every time. It might be 110 degrees outside, but I decided to come outdoors because frankly, I have a nature fetish. No, but in all seriousness, I figured the intense heat will uh, help our calorie burn count go quicker. Ooh. Can I go home yet? Jeez Louise. I'm dying out here. To end this workout, we are going to hit the Johnny Sins of supersets. And that's because this superset will bring you to your knees. The first exercise in this superset is going to be standing bicep curls, and I hit these until failure. On my last lift of the day, I really like to target a particular muscle that I want to improve development on. And today that just happened to be my tiny little biceps. So yeah, I'm gonna absolute cook these apples. Once the biceps are absolutely destroyed, then we grab a weighted band and we do rear delt flies to increase, to continue to improve. What am I gonna say here? To continue to improve our rear deltoids. Yeah, that sounds good. Even after lifting, I still have approximately 200 calories left to burn. So hopped on the Stairmaster and used every ounce of my focus to not end up like this guy. Here we are back in the car after the workout. As you can see, I am sweating like an absolute piggy ready for slaughter. So we're done with the workout. We have officially burned 1,100 calories within the span of two hours. Um, dude, I am sweating like an absolute demon right now. Do I have the AC off right now for dramatic effect? Yes. We consumed 1,090 calories and we burned 1,100 calories, which means this was a successful challenge. Now remember guys, you should never be training to outwork the food that you're consuming. That just creates a bad mentality. And one thing I want you guys to take away from this is visualizing how quickly I was able to consume 1,090 calories versus how long it took me to burn those calories. I slammed that meal within a matter of 10 minutes and then it took me two hours just to burn it off. The trade-off in my opinion is not really worth it. So if you guys are struggling with weight loss and you think, what am I doing wrong in the gym? You might not be doing anything wrong. So maybe take a look at your gym regimen as well as your diet. And I guarantee that most of us are suffering from bad diet as opposed to bad gym. And that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe or follow to any of the channels. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.